idiopathic peripheral neuropathy. You're watching a production of GoodHealthTube.com. Idiopathic peripheral neuropathy. What is it? To define idiopathic peripheral neuropathy, we must first define the word idiopathic. Idiopathic means a medical condition which has no specific or discernible cause. Although being diagnosed with an idiopathic disorder such as idiopathic peripheral neuropathy can be a source of great frustration to the patient, doctors are bound to make sure all other discernible causes have been ruled out. If a specific cause is determined, then the peripheral neuropathy is by definition not idiopathic. This process will often lead to a battery of tests which result in negative or inconclusive results. If tests come back inconclusive or negative, the unknown cause defines idiopathic neuropathy. Neuropathy cases are on the rise, idiopathic or otherwise. In this video, we will briefly discuss peripheral neuropathy, the tests that are commonly used to make the diagnosis, known specific causes of peripheral neuropathy, and the steps a physician must make to arrive at the diagnosis of idiopathic peripheral neuropathy. Why is peripheral neuropathy called peripheral? Peripheral neuropathy refers to diseased or damaged peripheral nerves. Peripheral nerves are nerves outside of the central nervous system which consist of the brain and spinal cord. They are outside of the boundary of the central nervous system. The definition of the word peripheral means at the edge or outside. Therefore, disease or damage to the nerves outside of the central nervous system is peripheral neuropathy since it involved the peripheral nervous system and not the central nervous system. What is central neuropathy? Central neuropathy involves disorders of the brain and spinal cord. Examples of central neuropathy are seizures, Parkinson's disease, and multiple sclerosis. The remainder of the video will discuss peripheral neuropathy and not central neurological disorders. What are the symptoms of idiopathic peripheral neuropathy? We must first discuss the three nerve types of the peripheral nervous system to better understand the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy. The symptoms depend on the nerves affected. In the peripheral nervous system, there are three types of nerves. 1. Sensory nerves. 2. Motor nerves. 3. Autonomic nerves. Sensory neuropathy involves disease or damage to the sensory nerves. A sensory nerve relays information from the arms and legs to the brain and spinal cord. Common symptoms include a numbness or tingling sensation, a pins and needles sensation, and sometimes a sharp or shooting pain or burning sensation. There can sometimes be severe pain, known as neuropathic pain. Motor neuropathy involves disease or damage to the motor nerves. These symptoms include muscle weakness and a lack of coordination. The decreased muscle weakness can at times be severe, effectively causing a paralysis state. Autonomic neuropathy involves disease to the autonomic nerves. These nerves are involved in regulation of body functions that are not under our complete voluntary control. These functions include bladder control, digestion, heart rate, and blood pressure control. The blood pressure may be too high or too low. Commonality to these peripheral neuropathies including idiopathic peripheral neuropathy is nerve damage, but symptoms vary depending on the individual and his or her comorbidities. How is idiopathic peripheral neuropathy diagnosed? As previously mentioned, idiopathic peripheral neuropathy will be diagnosed when other known causes of peripheral neuropathy have been ruled out. This process includes a medical history, physical and neurological exams, blood tests, and tests for exposure to toxic substances. Infections such as Lyme disease must be ruled out. Lyme disease which is caused by certain tick bites is typically treated with antibiotics and the nerve damage can at times be reversed and neurologic symptoms improved. If an infectious cause is determined, then idiopathic neuropathy is not applicable. Autoimmune diseases such as lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy will be checked for with blood tests. Other medical conditions such as vitamin deficiencies must be checked for as well. Systemic disease such as diabetes will be checked as diabetes is the most common cause of peripheral neuropathy. Carpal tunnel syndrome is often from a compressed nerve in the wrist and is not considered an idiopathic neuropathy. Certain medications to treat cancer such as vincristine can cause neuropathy. In these cases, the nerve damage is not from idiopathic neuropathy but a side effect from the cancer drug.
Magnetic resonance imaging scans and nerve conduction studies may be used to assess nerve health to check for nerve damage. Muscle biopsies and muscle strength testing may be needed to rule out muscular dystrophy. Nerve and skin biopsies can also assess nerve cells for nerve damage. Blood flow studies such as angiograms may be performed to check for adequate circulation. Intrinsic poor blood circulation is called peripheral vascular disease. Peripheral vascular disease, along with other diseases such as diabetes and previously mentioned autoimmune diseases can cause peripheral neuropathy, but in these cases it is not idiopathic neuropathy. How is idiopathic neuropathy treated? The treatment for idiopathic neuropathy is centered on symptom management. There are numerous treatment options available, including over-the-counter and prescription medications, physical therapy, and occupational therapy. If you have trouble with balance or walking, mobility aids can assist you in moving around safely. Eating a healthy balanced diet is also important. You can see our other videos regarding neuropathy treatment in our neuropathy playlist. A link will be in the video description. Before we recap this video, let us mention that the discovery of an enzyme involved in neuropathy has great potential in therapeutically approaching neuropathy. Everything may change as a result of this discovery. You can learn more how this can affect you by clicking the link in the video description or in the pinned comment. Let's recap this video on idiopathic peripheral neuropathy. Idiopathic neuropathy is defined as neuropathy without a specific or discernible cause. The diagnosis of idiopathic neuropathy requires numerous testing with those test results showing no particular cause. The symptoms of idiopathic neuropathy include pain, numbness, tingling, and weakness. Systemic diseases such as diabetes, vitamin deficiencies, and autoimmune diseases will need to be ruled out. A particularly discovered enzyme involved in neuropathy can have important implications in dealing with neuropathy, idiopathic or otherwise. See the link in the video description or the pinned comment to learn how this discovery can help you. Please like, subscribe, and comment. More valuable videos such as this are in the pipeline, which you can watch in our neuropathy playlist. Hit the notification bell to be notified when more videos become available. This video is not a substitute for consulting a physician. It is not intended as medical advice. It is intended solely for educational and informative purposes. Always consult a healthcare professional before beginning a new health plan. You have been watching a production of goodhealthtube.com. Thanks for watching.